morning everybody i started the video off last week saying this will be the last vlog in this park and here i am walking into this park again <laughs> i didn't um, anticipate that i'd be walking through here again before i got my car but we are going to pick matthew's options for college well for college or whatever he wants to do as soon as september comes so we've got matthew with us and we've got nevaeh with us nevaeh was not supposed to come with us she was supposed to stay with joe just so it was just me and matt because i know the place we're going we've got to go upstairs um for this meeting with the home education team and i was like oh i'd rather not have to travel around to work at the pram and carry the baby up the stairs but then joe was like i'm in a meeting soon and i was worrying that she'd disturb him so i decided to bring her with us and we'll just stroll with it won't be mad muscles can carry the pram up the stairs if he needs to my back is still absolutely killing which is why i was like i don't want to be carrying no pram up the stairs but i'm sure we'll be able to leave it downstairs somewhere i'm not too bothered about it anyway it's not an honor to be stolen or anything most valuable thing on it is the umbrella. Stop mum's handbag. Take that off. Uh, no, there's only nappies in it. They get a shock. So yeah, we are off there to do that. So this is just something that um, home educator kids get offered to do. Um, so they get the same amount of support as what you get in like a school basically so where the school like show yeah you can do this or you can do that they give all of these options to matthew as well cleanliness of matthew getting into most colleges because he's not doing his gcse's matthew isn't doing his gcse's because he has learning difficulties and um, i have spoke about this before on the vlogs um he's got dyslexia and he is on the pathway for autism as well so he's not quite at the level where he needs to be to do gcse's but i think by the time zach is ready to do them he will be as well so at the moment he is delaying his gcse's not that you have to do them um at all but you can do them in the future when you're ready to do them so he is del delaying his gcse's until he is ready to do them aren't you this is just helping him decide what he can do in september which is great that we know that we've got some sort of support and we're not just trying to plan stuff ourselves so we are going there for this meeting to find out what our options are the is shouting to be out the lady has just messaged me asking me if i'm still coming so i need to respond to that and carry on walking before she has to get out because we won't make it otherwise well that worked well didn't it not getting it off the pram We've got 20 minutes to be there and it only, it's only like 10 minutes away. But the slower the walk, the better anyway. I always like to get to places early so when I get there, I can have time to like, and not be all sweating and out of breath once we get inside. But obviously she's walking that slow, that won't even be a problem. Because mm -hmm. I've already started slowing down with my breathing. It probably doesn't sound on the camera. I'm probably still my, massively out of breath. After we've been here, we've just got a nip to the town centre to get a few little things for Joe that he needs for in the house. Tesco came last night, it usually comes today, so we are ahead of the game with that one. Um, which was, I think it was so much better actually. Not having to like, usually I get it for like first thing this morning, and usually I get up and I have to like do all of the packing and away and vlogging and everything else, and it just like upsets the day doesn't it you know we can't do our learning like we usually would until a little bit later because we're waiting for tesco so it's just been so much oh, right. easier yeah doing it like that i might change it to doing it like that getting it the night before instead when we usually get it but i suppose that won't matter when i've got the car because hopefully i'll be able to drive for it most of the time and pick my own things I probably won't I'll probably still get it delivered because i will still be like i hate shops I don't really like shopping. You wouldn't think it's the amount of time to do go shopping. But, yeah, I actually dislike shopping. We decided that a shoulders ride is best because we have 15 minutes now to get there and she was walking like <laughs> literal baby steps, wasn't she? She just suddenly slowed right down. So, so we get there on time. It is only, I can just see it in the distance, but it would have definitely took longer than 15 minutes to get there. But you're walking. We get down in just one minute. One more minute. Yeah. We've got quite a few big main roads here as well. So it's better for her to be up on my shoulders while we cross them. It's the pretty dangerous. Say hi. Say hi everybody. I'm so big. Can you touch the trees? Look. 
Touch the tree. Can you touch it? Touch it. Oh, Matthew can touch it. Can you do it? Can you do it? No. No? Matthew can touch it because he's very tall. He's taller than mummy, isn't he? Hey, are you taller than Matthew? A little tiny bit taller. Yeah. <laughs> but we're all done. It was actually really good to go into it because there was options available there that we weren't even aware about, wasn't the maths? Yeah. Like um, college courses. All colleges take on without GCSEs, which is fantastic. You just go at it like a lower grade level. Um, there is like one-to-one -one courses which you can go on which are a little bit smaller which might be small suited for them and there's another thing called the Prince's Trust one minute I wonder what's going on there three police cars are um, undercover and two normal oh well um, there is something called the Prince's Trust which you can go and do and it's like self-confidence building and communication and things like that which I think is really good because I did that when I was 16 and I met lots of friends and they're friends who I'm still friends with now um, all these years later but Matthew's like I don't need no confidence building I'm really confident which I've got to admit he is um, but I think it might just be something good for him to do anyway yeah right this road's quite dangerous so let's try and get across just stay as close as you can to these vans in front. Yeah, come on then. So yeah, it was just nice to know the options, wasn't it? She's gonna send you all the links, isn't she, later, so we can look and apply if we need to. And then we can have a look around some colleges as well, which is good. So yeah, now we are heading to the town centre to get the bits that we need. We're now in Home Bargain. I've picked up one of these for Zach. It's like the Stanley's, but with a uh, spout instead, which I think he'd like because it'll keep his drinks cold in the summer. Yeah. Renee managed to get her Stanley online, only that when it arrived, the straw was snapped to bits. So I had to look on Amazon for replacement straws and they're as much as the Stanley Cup is. So I got my cousin to buy another Stanley Cup when she's seen them available in Home Bargain. She picked me one up and I was going to use the straw as that only. Ebony was like, but what am I going to use? So either way, I'm five pounds down because I've either got to buy another cup or five pounds worth of straws. So. That's quite annoying, but oh, yeah. They've got all of the things off for Easter bonnets. They've got these little daisies for 99 pence and little foam eggs. Well done. And these little cutie things. Ebony and Renee used to get these for Easter every year, didn't they, when they were little? I'm sure Renee, Nevea even, would love them. They've got all of these and all of the feathers. And little carrots for 79 pence. Little egg nest, 79 pence. And then you've got your colour, your own Easter eggs. And your little foam things. What are they? Easter egg string lights. They come in like an egg container, which is so cute. Oh, and these little bottles as well. One for three of them. Happy Easter. Bunton and balloons. We've got these buttons. You found eggs! Yeah! And, um, you can't eat them, they're not edible, them ones. And they've got them as well. And oh my gosh, look at this Easter basket. I remember somebody doing these with like the names on the inside of them. They're only $4.99. And then they've got them ones as well. Little bunnies. And then they've got like these little bags here for one ninety nine, which are adorable as well, aren't they? And then they've got your little things for your egg hunts, if you wanted to do egg hunts. And that's it for all of the Easter bits. There is more around the other side, but it's mostly chocolate, isn't it? We are all done in Home Bargain. I just got Zach a little juice cup, similar to mine. I didn't end up getting that um, Stanley type one because they spill. Someone told me when we were in there. So I got him this one, which is similar to mine, but in grey and smaller. No, 
and just by the off chance I went to the till and I said look I have spoken to your customer service about this and they told me to bring it back and refund it but yes I've never had the juice cups in but I've just found this one is the only chance you can keep hold of it at the till for me and I'll bring the other one back and um because the straw being snapped and showed her the picture she took the straw out of the juice cup and went there you go and it was done so she's got a straw now come on this way now we are heading into McDonald's because Matthew was like, it smells delicious. It smells delicious, Mum. Hasn't yeah. <laughs> he was like, we don't have to go. But yeah, we'll treat him. Are you ready? Let go, let go. Oh no, it fell down. Let's try it with this one. Look at that. Can I try it with this one? Did you do it? Oh no, it's not going to work. You didn't like that. You've got to slide it. There we go. Wow! Yeah? Yeah, it went right the way down. Yeah. You got cheese on yours? Is it cheese? Yeah. 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 Matthew got himself a chicken burger. And I got a cheese burger. We have just waited 20 minutes for these to be cooked. That's a joke. Three little burgers. Well done in the McDonald's. We waited absolute ages for the food and then we decided we needed a drink as well, didn't we? So then we waited ages for a drink. But we are on our way home now. We've just had a near miss with Nevaeh's blankie. She dropped it in the middle of the like busy junction roads and only that she was like, Mummy, Mummy! I knew something was wrong and I was like, what's up? Talking to her in a pram. Realised the blanket was gone, turned round. There's the blanket in the middle of the road. If she hadn't have cried, I wouldn't have noticed that and we'd have got no sleep. So I'm glad that you made it's very, very well known that you dropped it. <laughs> I've just said to Matthew, you're going to have to take the pram because I'm so out of breath trying to push, walk and talk at the same time. I don't know what's going on with me recently. I've been getting really out of breath again where I, I stopped that when I lost weight. Now, I know I have put a little bit of weight back on, but not as much as I was previously. But I'm as out of breath as I was before I got my iron transfusion, which makes me wonder if my iron's a bit low again. Um, so, yeah. I need to get that check, get into to a bridge again, have them check my blood. Um, I haven't had an appointment for a while now, which no news is better than any, what did they say? No news is better. No, I don't know. <laughs> no news but is better. Either. Long, oh, I don't know. I can't remember the saying, but it's something like, no news is better. <laughs> I don't know. I've just remembered the saying, no news is good news. <laughs> it took me a while, didn't it? Said, no news is good news. Did you? Yeah. I'm going to listen to this back, you know, when I meant it, isn't it? Oh, go on. But um, yeah, no news is good news, isn't it? We haven't had an appointment for a while, so we'll see anyway, which I'm guessing means that my last bloods were good since we haven't heard from them, but we will know soon enough. And the good thing is we haven't got to like do long journeys there anymore because I'll be able to drive myself to my next appointment. We are now just heading up to our shop on the way home to get some bits for Joe because I didn't get them in the town centre. So I could get them in our shop. And he put a little deal look yesterday, didn't he? Yeah. That Matthew and Zach walked down the shop for twice and he said, Oh, he hasn't he hasn't took them out of the boxes yet. Come back later. Matthew went back later. They still weren't out, was they? So we're popping in today in hopes that they'll be out then. But they probably still won't be. He's got a um, a thing of doing this, hasn't he? putting things up on Facebook saying that they're, they're for sale in the shop and then they're not out anywhere for a couple of days. But yeah, we're just heading there and then we're heading home. The girls have done their online English and math. We've just got to do a little bit of written and some science when we get in. You've got all your online English and math to do, haven't you? Look at his face. You can't wait until he turns 16, can you? So you can say, I'm not doing it. But he will be. He still will be. Um, exactly, see, he knows the rules, don't you? You're a good lad. But um, yeah, we're gonna go home, do some science, and then the rest of the day, it's lovely. I might take the kids to the park. We are home. This is the juice bottle that I got Zach. It is exactly the same as mine, Zach. Only that it's a little smaller because I didn't think you'd need a 400. I don't need a 4,000 mil it is, isn't it? Mine, mine's huge, but I love it. Um, but yeah, that'll be perfect for you. And it's got like all of the drink markings on it as well. So like, you know, so you're like, I need to drink more. Because there is very often I have to say, is that have you drank? Because he does forget. I don't know how you forget to have a drink. I can't go a day without drinking a little bit of water at least. 
I get a headache if I don't hydrate enough. But mm -hmm. yeah, that's for your birthday. Yes. Because you wanted the new one, didn't you? Um, actually, let me just check the spout on it. Oh yeah, it's a lot gen more gentle than yeah. my spout as well. My my spout kind of like pum, pump, yeah. pumps up, doesn't it? But yeah, that's perfect. Actually, that would be perfect for me for when I've got my car. Which I am actually going to get the day that this goes live. I will be there this time on Thursday going and filling in all my forms. And if it's ready, I can drive away with it that day. I'm hoping that it's ready. If not, I think I've got to wait a couple of extra days. So it probably be about another week before I've actually got a car. But we were going to hire a car for like this week because my license came yesterday. Yay! It's lovely. It's it's um pink and baby blue now. They used to just be pink past it a sec. Let me cover everything now. So hang on a second. Covered everything that I need to cover, but look at that mugshot. <laughs> That was me provisional license picture from nine years ago, but I love the colour of it, pink and blue. It's like, it's so nice. So yeah, that came yesterday. So we were gonna go and hire a car, but it worked out as, I think it was hundred and something pound for three days. And I said to Joe, I don't think it's worth it whilst he's in work hiring the car for nothing because we're not going really anywhere. I knew I was going to that place today, but it's within walking distance. So unless we were planning on doing something, there was no point spending that amount on a car for three days. So instead we've decided that we will hire one this weekend if my car's not ready. And then that way we can do something fun over the weekend, take the kids out somewhere, and have some fun with them but, but for now we are still on foot and i'm not gonna lie each and every time i've got to walk anywhere it hits it hits that i can drive and i'm still walking <laughs> does anybody else get like that i know it'll be a novelty and after a while i'll be wishing i can walk again but i just can't wait to get out on the road and actually go to, to places where we've got wanted to go for ages like my mum's grave mm. yeah yeah my mum's whoopsies are you okay? Yeah. My mum's grave has needed extra stones for a while. But my dad took me last time to go and get the stones and I didn't want to, like, um, burden them by making them take me again for the more that, that we need. So now I can go and get more stones to put on my mum's grave because that's quite a bit of distance away as well, going, like, to that shop and then up to my mum's grave and then him waiting around while I fix it all out and then bringing me back home. So it means that I can go and fix my mum's grave up more often than I do now because I'll be able to get up there more often. We can also do some gravelling in our own back garden, which we've wanted to do for ages. But again, getting up there to get the stones that we need. So it just opens so many options. Taking the kids to the safari park. They've never been to the safari park because we've never had a car, a, a person who has a car big enough to take us. And um, What's the safari park? <clears throat> it's where it all, like... The animals are oh, kind of like a zoo, but you Wait, can drive around it. You can, but I will not be taking a car, my car through the monkeys. You can walk around parts of it. It's got a fun fit in there now. Knows the safari park, so and they have just opened it up for public to go in without a car. So it would have been an option, but it's still a bit far out for us to go like on the bus and do all of that traveling around type of thing. So it'd be so much better. It just opens up so many more options. So we just can't wait. Learning is all done. The kids are now playing outside. It's half past three and I am just putting our board back up on the wall that we use. Although the writing hasn't fully come off it because I used not a wash washable pen. My living room is an absolute state. There is just stuff everywhere. There is still books here on the floor that the kids did not put away after themselves. Oh, let me show you this though. Nevaeh drew her first person. That's a lovely angle, wasn't it? All chins and no face. Um, look at that. A little potato person. It's got no body, but it's got a face, a smile, a nose, and eyes, and arms and legs. How bloody cute. But yeah, that's Nevaeh's little person for the day. The kids, the rest of them did science. Um, oh, just nearly dropped them all. I've got a lot of cleaning to do. And I need to cook tea as well. The girls are in the garden with the baby, so that gives me a chance to clean up without having to try and entertain her as well, which was great. So I best get to it.
now tea time and Nevea's going to help, aren't you? Hey, you're done playing with the girls in the garden, aren't you? So you're going to help mummy cook? Yeah? You're going to put the chickens in the pan? We're going to boil up these little chickens and we're going to make a little curry. Open these, yeah. Okay. Okay. There you go. Are you gonna put them in there? Yeah. Yeah. In one. And and two. Well done. What comes after two? And two. One, two, and three. three. Four. Three. Is it still four? Five, six, six. well done, no. seven, um, eight, eight, and nine, well done, and ten, no. eleven, at eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. Well done. You can tell a favourite numbers, can't you? She only said fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Nine. Are they all gone? You ready? One last one. Oh, oh dear! Yay! Yay. All done. Yeah. We've got to put water in it now. Water now. Should we put the water in it? Yeah. Come on then. No. If you're wondering as well why she's got pajama pants on, she got um, dirt all over her pants that she was wearing today. So I just popped the pajama pants on her with a jumper. Right. Let's go put some water in it. Sit there. Papa, give me. What? The broccoli is, we're not doing broccoli today, but we are doing carrots. Stay there. Carrot. Take you right the way back and don't carrot. move. Yeah, carrots. Stay there. Carrots at home. We're going to do spinach. Yes, it is. And we're going to do carrots. Carrots. And we're going to do cream. Double cream. Open them. You're gonna hold this one for me. And this one. Uh, I'll do that. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. Because we've got to wash them first. Wash them yes. Mummy's got to wash them. You want for me? Yeah. Yes. Do you want to help? Yeah, I do. Come on, careful of your fingers. We don't use it like this. Like this. That's it. And then like that. Well done. Oh, you're super duper helper. Okay, let well, me put all of this in today. We need to wash it, don't we? We can do this with the bag. Yeah, not too fast. Slow down. That's it. In today. In we go. And this bit. Well done. Did it fall down a bit? Yes, really hot. Is it, it's really hot, isn't it? The cooker. It's really yeah. hot. Really hot. It's really hot. Yeah. A cream? Yes, the cream. We're not putting the cream in until last, though. We do the cream? carrots first. Carrots. Carrots first. And then we do the spinach. Spinach. Yeah. There we go. Butter chicken seasoning. You normally put them inside this bag at the top, but what I've been doing it is adding it to the pan with the carrots, the spinach, the chicken, and using some double cream Mom, and Mom. adding some garlic. And um, it has been absolutely delicious, and everybody in the family absolutely loves it. So, making it again. Hmm, where does this piece go? Hmm, yes. Yes, yes. Well done. And where does this piece go? 
You're going to do Susie Chi? What pieces do we need for Susie Chi? These pieces here? Oh, that's funny, isn't it? Tea is done. It doesn't look as appealing on camera as what it actually is and what it tastes. It's because it's just full of loads of carrot and spinach, isn't it, really? But it is a delicious dinner. Ebony's sitting in the garden having a little picnic with a mate to have her dinner, the boys and the Nevaeh down here. Nevaeh is actually in here today. I've noticed she hasn't been eating these meals recently and I couldn't figure out why. And I think it was because she doesn't like rice. I don't think she likes the texture of it in her mouth because she's eating it today. So, fingers crossed. Because um, her eating habits haven't been great recently. She's um, not been eating much at all. She is cutting back teeth. So again, that could be an issue. There's a big white car outside. Then it must be that little pillared thing there. I keep picking at my face. I've got this like weird little spot, haven't I? And I keep picking at it and it's getting bigger and bigger. And my face is getting swollen and swollen. And I'm like, I must stop picking it. But I'm terrible for picking I'm absolutely awful for it. I need to put something over it so it stops me from picking at it. Tea was absolutely delicious, but I am so stuffed. My stomach is so bloated, it actually hurts. Joe's just outside watching Renee play because it's gone a little bit dark now and it's almost time for this to come in. She's got 10 minutes left. Ebony and her other friends are in the back garden, so they don't actually need watching because they're just having a little play out there. And the veil is like kind of in between, in and out, but it's gone so cold, it was so warm earlier on. I'm sitting here with a throw over me. Absolutely crazy that I'm not actually having to go out this late in the night because usually it's today is the day where I have to go to get my driving lesson money and I'm not, I'm not having to go anywhere because I'm not going on a driving lesson. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that tomorrow. And I've been so used to it. It's been my routine for literal months that every single week I've gone out on a driving lesson and now I'm just not. Like, oh, so crazy. Sue so called Joe earlier on and was like, there's a little event going on in um, Wales at the weekend. It's a pity Steph hasn't got a car yet because we could have went up. I had to come with you. And Joe was like, well, we might. So we might even hire a car if you want to go up there. And she was like, oh, yeah, I think that would be a good idea. So we might be going to Wales at the weekend. We might not. I mean, it could have just been like a little on the spot idea, you know. But it's exciting, isn't it? It's exciting that we can actually do that. Anyway, I am going to end the video here. It probably is going to be a short one, but hopefully the more exciting videos will be coming in a couple of days' time. I am going to be vlogging when I go to look at my car, and I may put that up on Friday, and then I'll have to record again for Sunday because I'm trying to still do the four uploads a week. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye! Bye.